Hello YouTube! Welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. This is my Total War Free Kingdoms Liu Zhang Legendary campaign. And I know it's been a while since I picked this up. Um, I obviously, um, a while back I had, me and my wife had a son and it's taken up a lot of our time. And then when I did get back to it, I sort of wanted to finish off the Si Xie campaign. Um, and yeah, I finally got around but getting back to this. And I also want to pick up the Meng Huo campaign, I think. I think I'm going to give that a try. But yeah, uh, diving back into this, um, also got the 4K monitor, um, it's got a new graphics card, so I'm recording in 4K now. Um, so yeah, uh, really pleased to be back in this campaign, because it was a bit of a tough one, if I remember correctly, and I sort of want to turn it around a bit. It looks like I sort of have, as we haven't got any threat from the north now that Mateng has uh, dealt with the majority of Gongdu, but we have got him sieged up here in Ba. Um, and there's no reason for us to go in, really, so we're going to just keep uh, starving them out no whilst uh, Ji Ling comes to the rescue. Uh, Duozi is still running about our lands, but I think we've got majority of territory secure over here because we've got a decent, very decent garrison in the capital, and Ping Yi is held by... Machao and uh, two other good generals. So we have actually got a brilliant um, uh, Nanman chief here, which is pretty cool. And Lu Zhang is campaigning down to Yunnan. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to take that with no problem. Also, I did notice that we actually have the heir to Liu Biao's faction as a spy. Um, apparently I wasn't running interference, which is a bit weird. Um obviously didn't know what I was doing with spies back then. So if I run interference now... I'll go back to this. And uh, that's going up by 10, that's going up by 25. Let's also build our undercover network. But there is something we can sort of do. We can... Um, we can... assassinate Liu Biao and then his entire faction the next turn would be confederated by Liu Bei, who isn't really doing anything at the moment. Um, so that's interesting. It might be worth doing, just because the um, the chaos of that takeover might result in a lot of those really juicy characters coming over here. Because if we actually look at Liu Bei's character lists, got Huang Zhong, um, Yan Yu, Zhen <laughs> Chang, lots of... Um, non-unique characters who have pseudo-unique uh, traits, so that might be worth doing, to be honest. Uh, meanwhile, our economy is really bad. Um, well, we've got too many armies, basically. Um, not much we can do in terms of um, uh, in terms of diplomacy. We have got in terms of diplomacy, we're, we've got a, quite a large alliance um, with Lady Wu and Dong Li. Um, so not really much we can do there. Oh, we've got Imperial Favour to spend. That's something I keep forgetting to do. Not really sure who we want to be unhappy. Um, who hates us? No one. Literally everyone likes us. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to use that on. Maybe we just use that on Lady Wu, um, even though she's our ally, because... Mm, Yeah, I don't. I don't really know what to do with, with that. I think I might actually leave it. I, I, don't, I just. I would just be wasting it either way anyway. I suppose. Well, I am wasting it by not using it, but I don't really want to piss anyone off too much. Let's let's just use it on um, uh, Hangzhou as he's unhappy anyway, as he's already quite low, and then we'll increase our own favour. Nice. 
Um, also, I think it might be a good idea to spend some aspiration to get our economy back going. So if we do ec economic stimulus on Chengdu, it's just the local county. Yeah, it's quite a lot though. Let's let's go for it. I didn't actually notice our economy change, so hopefully that updates next turn. Let's use another one here as well. Oh, can we use the one? Oh, I probably should have used it on Jang Yang then. Oh well. Uh, what's the who's the other spy in? Li Bei's court. Jeez, that's a powerful, powerful group of. Uh, Characters. Let's uh, run some interference anyway. Cool. Yeah, looks like we're trying to finish off Meng J. Yeah, that's in the turn. We offer you peace. Take it or die. Oh, an alliance peace. Ah, oh, it's an alliance war. And they all want peace. Okay, let's be diplomatic here and accept it. Um, just to not piss off these. Mm, doesn't matter because they, they, they outvote me anyway. Oh, that's annoying. I don't think that's ever really happened to me before. God damn it. Oof! So Jacques Wao is a spy. We've married her into our faction. But we've made her so happy that she's converted. So let's employ her because she's part of our family. So that was a Yuan Shao spy. Oh no. Oh wait, no, we've caused disease on the enemy forces. That's good to know. Oh, I didn't check assignments. Oh yeah, no one gets on with these people. That's fine. Let's call that back because we don't need that going anymore. Uh, how are we doing for food? We've got loads of food. Oh, who is our heir? Liu Dan. Okay, he's not bad, actually. He's plus 20% food production as well, so we've got a ton of food. Scarred, cheerful... Okay, it's not bad. Okay, so now we're tres we're straight up trespassing. Um, however, we could betray Mulu now.
Yeah, we assassinate Liu Biao, all sorts of craziness happens. I think it'll be interesting to do. I think I'm just going to do it for the chaos factor of it. Okay, so Liu Biao has just been assassinated. Um, don't need to do it. Can just keep on starving them out. That is fine by me. Uh, Machao is going to sit tight as well. So really we need to... Two turns of... Let's go this way just so we're not uh, trespassing too long. And I think, yeah, let's declare war on Mulu. Because otherwise this army's walked all this way for no reason. Okay, everyone's cool with it. So let's declare an alliance war against King Mulu. Additional eight food to upgrade this. I think that's worth doing. Um, let's set her to work on that. Oh, how much does it cost? Seven thousand one hundred. Oof. Okay, we're already upgrading that place. Let's let's do that here as well. We're building quite tall. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, he's quite powerful, Li Zhang now. Wait, we got a discourses of oh, okay, that's not that useful. Who has got the discourses of the states? Oh, let's put that on Lu on there. Uh, Liu Biao then, Liu Zhang. Uh, yeah, where's Liu Dan? Okay. Oh right, was it actually? better to use that at the moment because we have no, very little corruption anyway. Okay. That's fine. I can deal with that. Oh, she's actually in the family as well. She's the she's the heir. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm getting a plan now. I, I must have had this in mind before, right? So what we'll do is we'll then assassinate Liu Bei and take over and uh, then cause a civil war later on which will break up a lot of the a lot of the faction well we don't have to do it straight away I suppose we could just let Liu Bei do alright um, in fact she is the wife so when we come to do it we could assassinate Liu Bei and attempt to marry her and steal everything, which would be funny.
Just checking we're making use of all of our stuff. Okay, this is our brother, isn't it? So, got nothing we can use for him. Not really. Wait, we've got an Art of War. Okay, so we've got the Essence of Sun Tzu. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, then I don't think we've got anything else to do. Let's see if there's any diplomacy we can... Any shenanigans we can do. Who wants military access? No one really care about... Support Zhang Yan for independence or Kai Mao. Quite like that idea. Welcome, friend. Got anything I want? No, but you can give me regular oh he's 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 poor, he's got nothing. Um There's no reason to do that then. Okay, so I think from now on we'll use up our imperial favor to um, to basically undermine Yuan Shao, considering he sent Jacqua as a uh, spy over here in the first place. In fact, where is she? Wait. Oh, do I have to re? Oh, I have to re-employ her. Or we could get Fa Zheng, who's... Yeah, let's just re-employ her there. Oh. Buggeration. What have I done? That's a really bad bug on their part. Um, Fajang, there we go. <coughs> Guessing neither of these places are high on peasantry. 210 on uh, Jiang Yang. Okay, that's yeah. All right, I think I, I think I had the right idea in terms of what I was doing there. Um, so yeah, let's listen. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Lubie has now annexed that entire faction of Lubiao, the sneaky bugger. It's a good job they don't want to uh, starve us out, because we would quite struggle. Yeah, let's start the battle. I do hate the Nan Man. <laughs> it's so annoying.
Okay, so we need to be careful here, really. Because I've had, you know, we've had it in the past where our morale turns to shit. Quite early on. Yeah, the reinforcements are going over from there, so... Jaquaz not going to be very helpful here, is she, but... Right, let's see if we can pull them around out, out the way of our towers. I figured if I bring her close we can use this crippling blow ability on them. Why is the morale just...
<laughs> Let's bring them back. Cowards. Hopefully they get around this side. Okay, this is going pretty well. More units we can just kill with towers, the better. All their units seem to have scare. It's ridiculous. Yeah, the smoke screen's helping quite a lot. Alright, it's worth a try. Let's try and avoid.
Okay, let's see if we can route a few more. Got whole units basically routing. It's ridiculous. Okay, that's good. That's bad. <laughs> Okay, we've got a cav coming in now. Could really use all of our infantry coming back to the front. Oh my god, we're still going to lose after killing all of the generals. Stand ready. Stand there ready. Move out quickly. Attack. Stand ready. Take heed, warriors. Kill them. Oh, they're going to take the centre if we're not careful. Oh, got so many units to re like uh, recovering from routing. Steal yourselves. To attention. Stand ready. Double time. Show them justice. Attend. Prepare. Show no mercy. Take heed, warriors. Oh no, they are going for it. Make ready. Take heed, warriors. The time has come. Fight! That they're ready. To battle. Steal yourselves. Ready to destroy them. March at the double. Prepare. Show no mind. Oh no, Machow. <laughs> Ready. Mark the double. Ah! 
Oh, I only got the two. Shit. That might have lost us it. Okay, at least the AI isn't moving on the t on the centre. Well, we tried. Just gonna concede that one. We just gotta hope that they don't they don't execute our characters now. So Li Biao has been has succeeded by being succeeded by Liu Kong. Liu Biao has confederate been confederated. Tell me what's happened to my generals. <laughs> Okay, they're all good. Was they all go away? Okay. Okay, that was really worrying for a second there. They are always pretty lenient, I find, but it doesn't look like any of them were actually captured. They just all got away. That was ridiculous, though. Like you saw how much damage. Oh, my child's lost an eye. <laughs> but it gives him scare, I suppose. But like you saw how. How all their units cause scare, and all of our units are just routing at the first sign of trouble. It's mental. Raiments of war. That's pretty cool. No mercy. Okay, well, I'll, as it's just done to say, there are end it there. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.